how do you properly set up Commerce Manager in Facebook to get Instagram and Facebook shopping and get access to more features for your business. I will share exactly what you need to do to properly set up the Facebook Commerce account in today's video. On this channel, we talk about social media marketing and all things about growing your online business and making more money online. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. In this video right here, I did a quick walkthrough of what you can find in your Facebook Commerce account, but a lot of you have been asking me, okay, but how do I set up everything perfectly in Commerce Manager to make sure that I can get Instagram and Facebook shopping? So in today's video, I will share exactly what you need to do to properly set up that Commerce account to ensure getting Facebook and Instagram shopping and in general, just setting it up correctly so you can get access to more features in the future. Now let's get started. You create a new Commerce account by creating a new catalog from your business settings in Facebook Business Manager. If you don't know where to find that, all you need to do is go to business.facebook.com, log into your business manager account if you're not logged in already, go to more tools and business settings. If you can't find that, go to commerce and then go to tools and business settings. From there, scroll down to data sources. That is where we'll be able to see your catalogs and each catalog has a different commerce account connected to it. Or you can scroll down to commerce and see your commerce manager accounts right there if you already have a commerce account. If you want to create a brand new commerce account, you'll need to go to data sources, catalog and add new catalog. And then once you've created that catalog, click open in commerce manager. Now, first things first, to to set up your commerce account is to add items to that specific catalog. If you want to sell products with Facebook and Instagram, you will need to properly set up that catalog and have products in there that don't have errors. So for the very first items that you have on your catalog, I suggest adding them manually and adding at least 10 products to begin with before applying for this feature. So for that, you will need to go to catalog items, add items and select the manual option. They will ask you if you want to add one item or multiple items. The easiest way to add them is by adding multiple items at a time. So click on that and then click on manual add. There you will need to add your products by adding their titles, their description, their website link, price and photos. You can also add products with variations. To add a variation, just click add variation or to add a new product, just click on new row. Remember, the title and description of your product do not need to be written in caps lock only. That can cause errors and they won't even allow you to upload those products to your catalog. So just write normal titles and description without caps lock. The next thing we're going to talk about is the settings that you need to do for your commerce account to function properly. So now it is time to go to settings at the bottom, go to general, edit and add your business email. If you don't have your business email there, that can prevent you from getting features such as Instagram shopping. They will not let you apply for it unless you have your business email there. Go to commerce account, more and save. Then for localization, make sure to add that to global if that is how you sell your products. If not, and if you only sell in your own country, make sure to add that there. Then go to business assets, connect your Instagram account and your Facebook page if they're not already connected. If they are connected, but they're not visible, make sure to click edit and set it to visible as well. Next, setting up the checkout method. This is something that you'll be able to do once you apply for the Instagram shopping feature. But if the checkout method is there and you want to change it, you can change it from there. Next for shipping. This is where you'll be able to add your shipping profile and sell Instagram and Facebook exactly where you're selling your products, where you're selling them from, where do you send them to and how much does it cost and also how much does it take for them to arrive there. It is very important to set up shipping profiles for all the countries or the regions you sell in because this will help Facebook and Instagram understand your policies a lot more. Next for the returns, make sure to do the same thing. Let Instagram and Facebook know if you do offer returns and if you do, what is the time frame that your clients can return the product in. Also make sure that on your website you have a page available, the privacy policy, the terms and conditions, the returns page. Make sure that they're all there and visible for Facebook to see when they're analyzing your website to get approved for this feature. Next, you can go to shops and click on get started to actually apply for the feature. Select your shop, select your checkout method, 
that you want, your catalog, your Facebook page, your Instagram account, add your business email, and then click that you agree with their policies and apply for a review. If you've already done this and your shop is already there, make sure to click edit to make any changes you want to the collections or anything else and then click publish update. Now after applying for review and once you get approved, you will need to go to overview and let's talk a little bit about what you can see in the overview tab. Here you can see the status of your application, if you have been rejected or if you have been approved. You can also see a few steps that they recommend you do after getting approved. They offer the option of adding more items to your catalog. They offer the option of customizing your shop and of publishing the updates. So once you get approved for this feature, you will need to go back to shops and edit your shop, but you can do that from the overview tab tab as well by clicking customize your shop. From there you can add collections to your shop and design the shop a little bit to fit your brand. Change the button style, the links, color and more. If you want to learn more about how to do that exactly and how to create collections on your Instagram shop, make sure to check out this video right here. Next you can see their recommendations for your shop or your commerce account. You can also see insights where you can see the amount of clicks that you got in your shop, the amount of clicks that your products got. You can see the sales channel and edit them from there as well, your Instagram account and your Facebook page that has the shop and you can also click on learn more and get help from Facebook help or just contact support via live chat. To do that you will need to click on learn more, contact support, add Facebook, add your issue that you're dealing with and also contact them. So that is everything that a commerce account contains and what you need to set up for a successful commerce account. In a future video, I will tell you exactly what you need to do, what are the steps you need to take if your commerce account gets disapproved or rejected because of your Instagram and Facebook shops and how I managed to fix that for a bunch of Instagram accounts and get their Instagram shopping feature enabled. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe because that video is coming very soon and also press the bell if you don't want to miss it. Make sure to also follow me on Instagram I'm at Lidara Incoming Success and you can also contact me on my website IncomingSuccess.com. If you need my Instagram shopping service, I can help you get this feature successfully or if you need Instagram or Pinterest marketing. So that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, also don't forget to leave it a like and I will see you in my next video.